All right, good morning. It's Thursday, I believe it is. Got my buddy JP down there. He's checking out the bottom side of this old beaver hole. We are getting ready to try to beaver trap this lake right here. There's a lodge across the road. We'll show you that here in a little bit. But right now, uh, JP's here. He's checking out things down there. I uh, got a few trails you can see where the beavers are kind of coming over the levee and whatnot. But the reason we're here is because of the otter, beaver, muskrat, whatever's in here, uh, is tearing up the levee. You can see where they're kind of filling them in. So the guy called said he did not want to lose his uh, levee. So anyway, we come in here and we're going to try to set some beaver traps on some spots, set some drowning rods and some Duke 330s and whatever else. You can see how the damage of this levee is. So uh, just kind of showing you what we got. And uh, anyway, they started damming up across the levee there. Of course, that's the highway. I don't know if you can see that or not, but that's the highway right there. They started damming up this spot right here, which is also damming up the drainage for the highway over there. So uh, we're going to try to catch them here or the highway department will end up catching them over there. So uh, that's what we're here for now. I'm hoping that maybe y'all can learn something. I'm going to learn something. That's why I bought JP. <laughs> but you can kind of see, uh, maybe not that spot, but... Uh, can't, can you tell how the water color changes right there? See how it gets real dingy? They're going up in the levee right there. Of course, they're coming over and whatnot. So anyway, don't move too much. There's a trail right there. So our plan is to come in here and uh, set as many traps we can get to uh, a couple hours. And then uh, see how it does. Turn it cold next week. Let's roll. I'm recording just in case you fall. <laughs> uh, we're coming on down here to the set of kind of bear down here. Uh, JP's going to be showing a little bit how we do it. That's all right. <laughs> That's all right. I went the long way. <laughs> I went the long way. I followed him. <laughs> all right. Basically, yeah, I mean, we're, we're rolling. We're just talking about what's going on. Uh, JP was telling me that they're using that spot. Yeah, coming down here right here. Uh, coming this, in. This is the run. I mean, you can see clearly from the, the trail, but this ground I'm standing on is, is, is hard. And that's, they, they run in their bellies and they're driving all the mud out on the sides. You can see how this, and I did walk through that. Um, yeah. You can see that's also hard. So they're coming up, splitting this one way or the other. This is more of a... Like, I want to get an easy beaver, because once I catch one in this, I'm probably not going to catch another one. Yeah, that's why uh, I like the easy beaver. We just, the that's dumb, right. The easy. dumb ones. That's it, man. That's, <laughs> that's it. what we want. He we actually told me. We knock the dumb ones out, so we don't, we don't have to spend up a bunch, bunch of energy on smart sets. Yeah, he actually so. said, he said, go down there and set this set so you look like a real trapper. That's what, I think that's what I heard him saying. I, said, I told him, I said, you said it. <laughs> that way it'd be explained to I'm not even a real trapper, so. <laughs> no, it's just, it's just easy set. This is a guaranteed beaver. Uh, well, a guarantee is you can make it. You know, yeah. Uh, well, so this is, if this you're is, starting off, I was like, we want to we want to catch we want to catch the easy ones out quick, because because as they get harder, we're gonna put more scientific and yeah and whatever sets in. We're gonna get smarter. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna jam this in. I found it, this. I don't even know what this is. Indians did a long time ago. <laughs> so I don't it is uh, they look like to come down here. Oh, uh, look like the beavers been having a party right there behind you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they done. Yeah, they they gonna wish they would have had a little bit of that. After, after them. But All this right. this thing right here is kind of they're already in this 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 channel this beaver run. That right there is already something they're used to going right by. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my little my little eight stand and so I'm gonna step it for dirt. My old out of shape self. Hey, I understand. Not no complaint. I wish you'd have said this. I don't know why. Somebody's going to snap my fingers on my 330. Okay. Well, if you snap yourself, I'm here to holler for you. Well, you got insurance, right? Yep, All I right. sure do. You paid up. I got truck insurance. I got life insurance. <laughs> wow. Tickled to hear you say that. All right. So, me, I've got the triggers. I've got them. I've got them upside down, and this stand, it does allow for me to cradle this in here like so and set that upside down. 
because if you get a stand that's all the way across, this won't be able to flip this dog over and allow this trap to completely right. collapse. So, set this back. I have no balance. There you go. I'm out of shape. That's my wife's fault. She cooks too good. <laughs> I want it, but we're gonna make it work. All right. And that just stakes it down over there in case you. In case we get an otter, because sometimes them sun guns are slick and they like to they like to move fast. They move like <laughs> torpedoes, man. They just go. Yeah, shoot them through, through there. That way, if you catch them, and that's it. it. It's not. Now, I've got them safety still on this. Now, what I'm gonna do is, I wish I'd have done it beforehand. So getting that. Uh, yeah. But I'm gonna lay a stick right across this setup. Right. Where this beaver's already used to coming down through here. It's called a dive stick. Right. Um, they're gonna go up under the up under the water to avoid mm. that stick, and they're gonna go right in our trap. Because that's the, that's the that's right. easy set, man. That's what that's we're it. doing. That's that's all it is. So well, I'm gonna get the stick, and I don't know. You could talk to them, tell them about you. Yeah. No, we got a stick. With, last night. We'll be we'll be right back with you as soon as JP go finds the stick. <laughs> I think it's a work. This is a good stick. If I can get over here without slipping and falling, it's head knocking stick. Another bad today. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this stick and I'm gonna lay it right across this, kind of complete. Yeah. Kind of make it look like something that they would already be uh, going under. And then I'm gonna set this beer bottle right under. Because they're already looking at it. That's right. It's something for them to be like. Yeah. Well, I thought we was it. done drank all that and it's ready for them. They're going to go under it and they're going to yeah. come back. <laughs> in their mind, they're like, I'm going to go up under this. That's what drink it'll get yeah. you right shoulder. You'll be making unsmart yeah. decisions. Kids, <laughs> Under don't, kid, yeah. Kids don't be drinking. Don't be drinking. You're allowed to get caught in a beaver trap. That's it. Place <laughs> down these parts. <laughs> we'll get the safeties off yeah. and then we'll head on to the next spot. That's it. While JP walks back to the truck. <laughs> He's such a good sport. That's right. <laughs> Ain't no need Bobo slipping. Oh, uh, anyway, he's going to get some snares. We're going. He's going to show you how to set some snares on this trail. Uh, if you got a good beaver trail. But uh, anyway, just waiting on him down here, videoing the beer bottle set. <laughs> I feel tickled about that. Oh man. All right, so what we're fixing to do is JP's went and got some uh, snare material, and we're going to set a snare. I say we. I mean him. Uh, <laughs> we're going to set it right here, going up on this barbed wire fence, going into the water where he's standing. So, JP, you can kind of show, tell what you're doing. All right. I'll, I'll get um, we are nowhere. We're not anywhere next to that dumb dumb set. Uh, you know, it's, it's definitely way off. This is, this is different beavers. So, um, this is different beavers. You know, it's a beautiful lagoon uh, down through here, and these beavers. This is a. This is our second location. Clearly, nowhere. Clearly, near nowhere near the bo yeah, the beer right. bottle set. Oh, um, as I got older, I figured out why them old men always had these shirt pockets because they're handy. <laughs> so, what I've done is I've got what's the Got some stuff in my pocket when I fail, but whatever. <laughs> this, this is nice. You slide head first. <laughs> Sometimes it, I just, I, maybe I was the one drinking out of that bottle. <laughs> hey, but this is nine gauge wire. You can buy this in your trap supply store. Uh, and all I'm going to do is, because I'm cheap, I'll just recycle my nine gauge wire. <laughs> I just want to show y'all. <laughs> so, right. uh, this is what's going to support my snare up. My snares, uh, I'm running. Um, I've got 332nd. That's that's pretty common for a, for a beaver snare. Uh, I, this is a micro lock. Not you. Don't, you don't have to be so wrapped up on what it is, but 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 this a, it's a that's a standard beaver. That's really a standard trapping uh, diameter of, 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 of cable. Uh, beaver works great. These aren't even loaded for you folks that's out there that knows everything about trapping. Yeah. Hey, this probably ain't for you anyway. <laughs> but, but my buddy David having a good time. Uh, I've got it anchored. I've, I'm gonna anchor it in the ground. Uh, with this, with this uh, earth anchor is what this is called. Um, I've got my this this little slot will, will fit in here, like so. Hold on, there we go. All right, like so, you drive it in the ground, and then it's going to be in the ground at an angle like that, and then you're going to pull up, and it's going to set, and it's going to keep whatever animal. This, this applies to coyotes. This applies to beavers. 
and it's gonna fly for uh, possums when we catch one. <laughs> We're finally gonna catch a possum. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, I'll, I'll go ahead and set this snake. All right. These beavers are already using this trail, and uh, they're already ducking up under this fence. This is a natural choke point for them. Uh, they got the they, they, they got the the, the sticker. Uh, vines, I don't know, what, what are they called, David? I'm drawing them. I, I call them ouches and, yeah, and, there you go. They got, and there's cuss words they sometimes. The ouches anyway, so <laughs> this cable is not going to stick out to them whatsoever. This is blended in naturally, and they ain't going to be looking for right. it. Right. They're going to be looking at that beer bottle down there. Down there. <laughs> they're they're gonna be looking at that. <laughs> that's, what they, that's, that's what they're focusing in on. Hey, no, no, really, they're not focused on anything. They're doing what beavers do, and that's what's, that's what's the beauty of a, of a snare. Now that I throw my equipment down. So uh, mm -hmm. what I like to do is... I like to find my, <laughs> I like to find my, my, uh, my snare holder. I try not to put too much, change up the scent, the, 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 I try not to change it up too much, but here I am, I'm here. Well, you gotta get in it. And, you gotta get in it. So. You might have to make it. was a, a storm last night. Those beavers would be like, well, must have blowed all our stickers down. That's it. That's <laughs> it. And these kind, uh, human gentlemen folk was coming down here to try to help clear the trail out for us because they just so, Thoughtful and helpful. Got that old man. Already hard. It's in that water on your right foot. There we go. Oh, that steak done whooped a few times. This ground's pretty soft, but I'm just going to beat that right back and kind of arc that over here. And that's going to hold your snare up. That's that's a snare support. That's right. Yeah. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. You got it, man. I say let's come off a little bit over. Not too far, because then you'll, yeah. you'll be in a bind. Drag oh, up. my goodness. Well, you know. <laughs> well, we'll get him tangled up. He'll get tangled up. That'll hold. That'll hold. He good, he good, he good. All right. Around these snares is uh, going to be a collar. Sometimes they're springs. Sometimes they're... Uh, uh, vacuum uh, tubing or whatever like I don't know don't get me telling you dimensions. I bought them bought a bunch of them I just use them all I use all of them And you put that collar You run it up on that snare support I said these snares are not loaded. So they look ugly. They looking like a teardrop And they're just there you go. That's right. So you want to you want to basically get it to where just wiggle it around to however you need it to. That's a little high. Um, I'd say about a little bit wider than you fist, because you got to think a beaver. A beaver's coming through here, and you're really trying to get him to get his front paws through here. Right. And then we're going. I'm gonna do it this way because yeah, this is that's fine. But he's coming through, and since this isn't loaded, he's actually gonna be dragging this, and it's gonna close down behind his his neck and his shoulders. Right. And that's what's gonna restrain him. That's right. Uh, Anyways, yeah. he'll get tangled up on this post, and he'll be sitting here, waiting on really us. upset, a little angry. <laughs> like, dude, who would have done such a yeah. such a thing? Now, I actually did. Uh, I hung on to these. I, I, I was happy <laughs> I had them. Actually, um, a lot of times people will put uh, little sticks or whatever, like little bitty sticks. Yeah. It's called a chin up. A lot of times people put sticks in there, and that's not a bad idea. Um, and 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 the way it, it's like in Solomon, in the Bible, man, they talk about ain't nothing new under the sun. Trapping's about the same way. It's just been around for several hundred years, and they's, every now and then you'll have some revolutionaries that come along and invent new style traps, and they really rocked it, the trapping world. But it's all about the same, so all information is about learn from somebody. So all this stuff that I'm sitting there saying is not stuff that I've come up with. I'm not that smart. I'm not that clever. I'm barely smart enough to be able to... Come up with that bear bottle set. Man, that's, that's a winner, <laughs> man. That, that's a winner. Uh, but uh, that's what, right, though. I forget. I, I want to say if some fell out of New Jersey, uh, he's a real, real white, real good sna snareman, real, real known in the traffic. I mean, if you know, if you, if you know anything about snaring. But he uses pine straws, and I, I really, I'm going to have to agree with him. Uh, and I wish I had pine straw, but all I have was cypress, and that's what I'm going to work with. So yeah. what he does is he puts a little piece of pine straw, and a lot of trappers do this. Like I said, this ain't, this ain't new revolutionary information. I'm a, a little Christmas treat, not, I don't normally, I wouldn't normally do that because it normally. But anyways, more or less what you're trying to do is you're trying to keep this beaver from ducking up under here and going up and riding up under you, you think. Right, right. He, in his mind, subconsciously, he's looking at this as, as uh, he's looking at that as something that, that he don't want to put his face in. Just like, I don't want to put my face in none of this stuff. Yeah. He's already come up under ducking up under this. So 
this yeah. this is gonna be a bad idea. Okay. So right. I, uh, I, I I have I right. have like that's seventy eight percent confidence we're gonna catch one in this set. Right <laughs> seventy eight percent. What up? <laughs> so that's about how high you like it. Yeah. Can you show with the fingers? I'd yeah, say about fist. a fist. Okay. About a fist. All right. Because right. you got to remember, he ain't gonna be. I mean, look at that. That's a steep angle, man. It's yeah. Coming yeah. down, and it's also vertical and parallel right. to the trail. Okay. You don't, you yeah. Don't, like if it was if I was up higher, I would mm -hmm. actually have it angled up like that if I it got was you. up a lot if it was up further up that trail okay. but this is more flatter and more okay he's already coming down this way so awesome. um mm -hmm. i think uh i think that's about got snares covered if you have any questions you definitely hit up your local y'all y'all <laughs> yeah i hear you hit him up. Hit <laughs> i'll him be up. texting jp like hey man answer them questions man answer them questions <laughs> well he's gonna set another snare over here and then i'm gonna head over and, and and uh set a drowning set and see if we can't move a little bit stay with us <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got a slide right here. Just saw JP uh, set those traps, sets down there. This is where they're coming out right here, coming right up on the bank, going right over, and that's where he set his stuff. So, uh, anyway, we're gonna set a drowning rod right here. Hopefully they're coming up right here. JP said set it back right here this time. So we, uh, don't get right up there close in case we catch a coon. We're trying to catch some beavers today, he said. So, anyway, we'll see if we can't get this. See how close we can get. Oh yeah, this one got a a little bit longer chain too so and that water's still deep enough of course we got this big heavy duke 850 on here oh yeah so we'll take this little steak rod right there and get it let me get it close i can right there and I'll, I'll show real quick of course we're down here a lot of times if you get in a, if you get in hard dirt and you have to beat it down with a hammer or whatnot you can take a pair of uh channel locks and you just take it and ream it and it'll pull back up so if you ever get into something where it's really hard but i like them them 30 inch right there it's right here yeah make sure that's a beast ain't it that's a beast of a trap that, that's the money maker I'm buddy here. That's a, that's a catch, y'all. That's a body gripper. That's and a foot gripper four. Right Woo! <laughs> hey! hey scared me, man. <laughs> y'all all heard that clip. <laughs> you heard that clip. Anyway, so we get it in here. Make sure that slide's good. Ain't nothing in the way. Like that stick. And I feel as though... Yeah. I can feel it right there, JP. Maybe after all that mud dirt settles, yeah. we can come back and shoot That's it to right. where you can see it from the bank. That's you can see it. the well, trap. Come up here, His front feet are kind of touch. Maybe catch the back foot, or he might catch the front foot. Catch all of them. Catch all. <laughs> Bigger than <laughs> catch all of them. <laughs> anyway, so we got his three or four sets right there on this trail, and we're gonna go down there and do the same thing, and then we're gonna move over to the lodge. Let's run. Oh. Head on down to the other spot, but I was gonna show you real quick. You can kind of see that Duke 850 just sitting there waiting. Trap is hunting. You hear me? It's hunting right now, boys. It's hunting. You're going to slide up there and get knocked. Anyway, let me ease down here with JP, and he's going to show you how to set an H stand uh, where the beavers are going into the bank. All right, we're at the bank then where they're going in. So JP's going to show you what he's got on an H stand here for the Duke 330. Duke 330. Um. This is a an H stand. It's for it's for your deep runs. A lot of times you'll put the beavers. They'll they'll wallow this out, and they'll uh, this is where they live at until they can get their lodges established. Now what probably happened? That's gonna be Mama and Papa Beaver, and then the the, the kids from two years ago decided, hey, there's this is enough room for all of us here. And so they started wallowing this out, and they hadn't built their lodge yet. And they'll okay. do that as they get more uh, established. So it, these H stands are great for for scenarios such as that. And all you do, uh, at least all I do, is I'll, I'll stab it in the ground so I can get it set. Setting the Duke 330. Once again, I'll take it. I like them upside down. Sometimes you'll get some stands that, that won't allow for that upside downness. Uh, I like these as well, because you can Right, and that, just, that allows you to just reach out there and stab it down in the ground. That's it. Uh, since we don't have no waders. Because we're lazy. We like to <laughs> move traffic. Uh. Um, and then I, I have these really long drowning rods like 
uh, drowner rods, these really long uh, fiberglass stakes that I like to stab in. Cause sometimes when the beaver comes through, he's gonna knock it down and you ain't gonna be able to, you ain't gonna be able to find it, but you can find your stake. You can That's right. Up, you That's right. Up. Yeah. So, Main so, thing is you don't wanna get that trap, that beaver get trapped. And then he come flopping and flipping out there in the deep water and you don't ever get to trap all the beaver. So that's don't right. sleep in there and uh so make we sure. always get our beaver. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna knock the safeties off. Try to. You may need a uh little help there. Oh, yeah. So I knocked the grease degreased them yesterday and then uh they kind of rusted in the storm last night. So sometimes those safeties are hard to get off that way. But I always make sure those those safeties are upside down or do like 330 maniac and tie them off uh at the at the call so anyway try to get his uh, i'm trying to show you best i can here this beaver when he hits the ground he he hits the ground running so he when he when he when he commits he's all he's his nose is in the mud that's why all that stuff's uh hard it's hard bottom all oh, this is soft because he's he not using it this right. is hard he's he's plowing through because when he comes out he's gonna he's yeah. gonna spearhead this and we're gonna have a beaver yeah i hope so, so. and that's that's what they work and, <laughs> And normally you set two or three of them, and that's right. probably what we're gonna do. That's right. We're gonna set it. We're gonna we're set it up. Beaver trapping. <laughs> <laughs> we're we'll beaver trapping. Uh, I'm in there, and, I, and I, I use these meat mitts to drive that in there. Oh, <laughs> please don't feel me getting <laughs> crawling up out because like a beaver. Yeah, he kind of. That's how a big beaver crawls out of the off the Just bank. Like that. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm instructing you. <laughs> well, JP's gonna set some down that way, and I may set one. You can say that's pretty good. Uh action right there so he's gonna set some there and then uh they I was set. here last night they were definitely here they last night <laughs> right, right there <laughs> right there so uh and i might set another drowning set uh over there and then uh we're gonna move over to the lodge here in a little bit so stick with us we're still showing y'all what we do or don't know <laughs> <laughs> so guys what i wanted to show you was all right you can kind of see can you see how clear that water is and how slick that is right there? And they're going right up in there. But if you don't have an H stand, I'm, I'm fixing to put a stand here. I'm not gonna show you exactly. I mean, the same thing, just setting a 330, but I'm gonna show you what it looks like. If you don't have an H stand, you can just use uh, just use those sticks right there to set that and you can kind of get an idea of it and uh, see if we can't get one to come up come up in here and, and get caught by a 330 as well. So I'm gonna show you real quick. You can see, so those sticks, are in between the 330 going through those springs right there. And that just keeps it secure, keeps it where it won't flop over. So when they hit those triggers, the body trap stays in put, intact, stays put and you boom, you got them. I got it staked down, a little stake over there uh, with the chain that comes with the 330. So hopefully if he's in there, he'll come out and run right into it. Or if he ain't in there, he's going in there, he'll get hit it. So we'll see. Uh, we'll go check on JP. All right, guys, we're on top of the dam here. Just gonna set a few, uh, what do you call these? Just a blind set, just yeah, a... Yeah, we, we more set just... I guess you could say we're kind of, we're fishing. We, yeah. We, we know we're probably gonna catch a few. Yeah. But I, I wanna get them away from these runs because eventually I'm gonna set these runs. I'm I just gotcha. not fully committed to doing it right now, so I wanna catch what I can and get them away from these Get them runs. away, okay. All right, so basically we got some trap on a chain with a I drag. Got, I got a drag and I'm gonna pitch huh. that over there and I'll get wrapped up here in a second. But okay. And then uh, we're just gonna, he's gonna set some traps. He's gonna set a trap best he can right here under the water. Get it set. Now what I've done is I've, uh, you can see they're, they're obviously getting up in the Yeah. All, all you can obviously see, they're going right up under that. Yeah, which would be ideal for a snare, but like I said, a snare in this location, he's gonna be right there and I don't want him right there. Right. Um, so what go. I did was I, I hollered, I, I, I kind of made it a little more, uh, emphasized like this is where they need to be right and so i've made a bowl right here and i've kind of i've kind of i'm making a little shelf is what i'm what i'm doing right so when it, whenever a beaver swims up here i don't put my booty in the water so now i'm right now i'm wet and that wasn't fun <laughs> i'll try to, <laughs> do, that. I'll try rather, to do that again <laughs> rather have it in you in the water than on the trap i reckon yeah at least it ain't hot <laughs> or at least it ain't cold at least it ain't cold water <laughs> it is hot <laughs> oh so i've made a bowl so what I'm gonna do? I'm glad that song got to keep on going. <laughs> Turn it sideways. I'm gonna set that sun gun and wiggle it right there in that bowl. It kind of seats real good in there. Kind of really does. Suck, kind of sucks down a little bit. And I, I guess I'll pull it back up so you can kind of get an idea of what I'm 
what I'm what I'm going for here. Yeah. This this is kind of more or less sitting a little off centered. Uh -huh. So this is where I'm, I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to line him up to coming up here. So when he's standing up on his back legs, he's he's walking. He's yeah. Pulling off centered. The dog's on this side. Right. So I want him left foot, yeah. right foot, right hand, or somewhere yeah. around in the in this. Yeah. So that's why that's going to be a little off center. Okay. Um. And and then the idea he gets caught, he's going to want to swim out back to water. Right. The drag is anchored up over there. I'm going to take a stake and I'm going to stick. I'm going to stab it in the ground up up yonder. Just ain't got that point. Yeah. 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 That's fine. That's fine. That after that. Yeah. Um. Then, but uh, but that's where we want him tangled up. We it's want just, him over here, and then he's it. out of the way. Mm -hmm. He's not bothering nobody else. Nobody else is getting spooked. That's right. Okay. Uh, All right. Well, if you get that, we'll get that set back down, and then get a stake drove, and uh, we'll show you here in just a minute. Kind of what he's talking about the stake, stake wise. All right. So he's got that. Oh, <laughs> he got that in the water there. And then the chain comes. Nice. Yeah. Can you kind of show him that chain a little bit right there? So, all right. So you see the chain? It's on a drag right there. It's caught down, hung up right there. So when it, when that beaver gets caught, it's going to swing out, out, right. out. And then when he swings out there, of course, he's got knobs to get caught up on. But JP drove a stake down right here. So if he does get here, he'll wrap her up around that stake. And now he's completely away from the lodge and nobody knows what's going on. So we got one more of these, one or two more of these. We're going to set on the other side, uh, and then uh, we're out of here. So, uh, JP, I'm going to go and end it right now. Or should I wait away? No, we done stepped on that beaver lodge. They, they know we're here. They know we're here. <laughs> and we've been sitting there hollering and talking. <laughs> they probably, we, we probably woke them up. You know how yeah. when you hear something yeah. the other night, you're like, what was that? You know? <laughs> All right, I'm going back to bed. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> they don't know we're in danger yet before we're getting there. <laughs> Uh, it's coming. It's they hear coming. this giggle. They hear this giggle, and they just think we're just a bunch of goobers. And which, yeah, I mean, we'll they're probably it. right. They definitely are. Right. <laughs> but any which way, I caught a beaver once. That's why I'm qualified to tell you guys <laughs> how to do it. <laughs> I caught one by the toe one time, so that counts as qualifies me. But any which way, we're gonna get out of here with just one last set. Get loaded up. Go get some lunch and whatnot. So y'all know how it goes. Y'all have a good day. God bless. And as always, Jesus loves you. <laughs>